It's time to introduce you to some of the supporting cast in the Messi verse. The yeoman who put in a shift to allow Messi to shine. And no, I'm not talking about David Beckham. Let's meet Lionel Messi's new bodyguard. You may already have seen him haul ass in the LAFC match to intercept a pitch invader. Honestly, do clock speeds well above anything we yet to see from either Messi or his marker Giorgio Cellini on the field. Let's rewind to the beginning. You can see the moment. Head on a swivel. Tactical awareness to see a breach before it's even happened. Poor pitch invader never stood a chance. <laughs> Combine the tactical nows, pace and authoritative decision making. And were I an Everton scout, I'd be looking at that gent and be thinking, isn't he an upgrade on pretty well everything I've got in my squad right now? Correct. The boost ring out around Goodison Park for Everton. And this wasn't the first pitch invader he's blocked either. He nabbed one against the Philadelphia Union in the League's Cup semi as well. But Messi Stan accounts started noticing the bodyguard a couple of weeks ago. Who was that big rig trailing Messi off the bus? Shadowing him on the sideline, looming menacingly during post-game celebrations. Basically, Lionel Messi goes nowhere without two things, his mate and the bodyguard. Sensational! So who is this guy? I'll tell you all you need to know. Okay, I'll start with one thing we don't know. We have no idea exactly which elite bodyguarding academy he graduated from, whose methodologies he was reared upon. Was it Mr. T? I don't want a bodyguard. This isn't the thrill of my life either. Kevin Costner. My money's on Paul Simon. If you be my bodyguard, I can be your long lost pal. And yes, there's yet to be developed advanced metrics on his X pitch invasion interceptions, you know, XPII. Much of what we do know comes from tabloids across Europe and some Spanish press sprinkled across Miami, splashed with images from his very own Instagram. Now up to 200,000 followers including one Lionel Messi. His name is Yassine Chawiko, an MMA fighter, bodybuilder, boxer, and martial artist handpicked by Sir David Beckham to protect his prize asset, Lionel Messi. Initially, there were reports that he's a former Navy SEAL who served tours in Iraq and Afghanistan, but a Daily Mail exclusive investigation, all caps, revealed exclusively that that might not be true. So how much does one earn to, you know, follow Lionel Messi around and occasionally glower menacingly above rock hard abs? All of the tabloids agree, $250,000, a cool quarter milli. But hilariously, what they can't agree on is whether that's paid annually or monthly. So let me tell you one thing we do know, that gent has an eight pack. <laughs> Definitely works out, and Lord almighty, he is frightening. And yes. While we don't accurately have his XPII, what we do know is man's got a black belt in blocking pitch invaders. Let's break down this play. We've got an OG fan judging from his 2014-15 treble winning Barcelona jersey and he decides this is the moment. He sees the space. He races onto the field from the end line behind the goal. He's thinking, I've got to go the distance, but I got this. And if I can just glean a vile and messy sweat, it will surely cure all that ails me. And for starters, you've got to admire Yassine's positioning here on the sideline, near the benches, closer to Messi, coiled. And he tears out onto the field in his pink knit Adidas runners. You can practically see the cartoon version of his silhouette left behind. He's moving that quickly. Invader and Bodyguard both doing the dance of death. They make it to Messi just about the same time. You can see the doubt start to seep into Barca boy with every step, especially as LA defender Aaron Long gets the assist, setting the pick on the invading interloper. Invader did get two hands on Messi, but boy, did he ever immediately pay for it. Rejected. What I'm most like to see is the job description for this gig. Does it just say you must have a particular set of skills. Wanted, very menacing looking bearded dude. Must have rock hard abs and quasi background in Taekwondo or other martial arts. Also must have a master's degree in glowering. I'm afraid you'll have to leave. 
No. <laughs> Job responsibilities, trail team in and out of stadiums. Prowl the sidelines of Inter-Miami CF games on ever high alert for danger from fawning fans. No soup for you. Hover behind every goal, Sally. Loom in the background of every post-match hug and kiss. Usher Messi down the tunnel, even through flying debris, such as $17 plastic cups of beer. Especially this, protect Messi from the grubby, sticky hands of children, even if they are the offspring of one Owen Wilson. By the way, I love you can actually hear Owen here telling his own kids to stop pushing. Not below him to perform ball boy duties on occasion. And lastly, quickly but gently, remove hands from Messi's torso while he poses for selfies. Whatever scouting process Beckham used, whatever bodyguard academy he plucked Yashin from, it seems like he found the exact right man for this job. <laughs> Because I'm old enough to remember when Messi first moved to Miami way back in June 2023 when the greatest player ever to kick a ball was seen wandering the aisles of a Publix alone or let random passerby fans just kiss him on the cheek unobstructed. Jen even had to carry his own luggage back then like a peasant. Let's just say there's been a major security upgrade for Inter Miami. Hundreds of security personnel added to games, charter flights, the team bust into the stadium instead of just casually walking across the street like civilians. Initially, Messi had a police escort while driving to and from work. But now, if you want to try and get that elixir, that vial of Lionel or Messi sweat, you've got this giant halt to get through. Good freaking luck. Subscribe to the Men in Blazers YouTube channel to watch this week in the Messi verse and meet the entire supporting cast. Maybe if their abs are rock hard enough and we get round to it.